Russia is due to commission its first 200 megawatt small modular reactor or SMR in about four years from now in Yakutia, its ice-bound Far East region, and with plans to build many more, is looking at overseas markets including India to sell. But does India need them? SMRs are seen as the answer to the long gestation periods of nuclear power plants, averaging from 8 to 10 years, if not longer. An SMR can be built in about four years. It requires much less land, about 15 to 20 acres, as against over 2,000 acres that the Kudankulam plant in Tamil Nadu occupies. It also requires less water to operate, uses less uranium and produces less waste. That India is interested in SMRs is obvious from this comment by Jitendra Singh, India's Minister of State for Science and Technology, who told the Lok Sabha in August last year, quote, while augmentation of nuclear power capacity through large-sized reactors is a primary goal, the government is exploring options of collaborating with other countries to take up indigenous development of SMRs. But does India need a collaborator when it has already designed and built 80 megawatt nuclear reactors for submarines? Then again, India's homegrown 220 megawatt pressurized heavy water reactors, of which 17 are in operation, is a proven and tested design. Dr. Anil Kakodkar, former chairman of India's Atomic Energy Commission, told Strat News Global that India would need to modularize such reactors by building them in a factory where mass production can take place, which in turn brings scale, lowers cost and helps innovation. He was skeptical about buying reactors from abroad, whether of the SMR variety or of larger capacity. In India, you can build it at half the cost or maybe even cheaper. Hmm. The same thing is happening, so for the foreign suppliers to bring their price structure, the capital cost, comparable with the Indian reactors, uh, they have to do value addition in the country. Unless the domestic value addition uh, is at near 100% level, I think the imported systems will not move forward. There is a safety issue, but Dr. Kakotkar believes there could be a solution. He pointed to aging thermal power plants that have outlived their service life. These tend to be well connected by rail and road, have assured water supply and are connected to the grid. Why not locate these small reactors at such places? The worldwide push for smaller, more affordable reactors cannot be denied. Russia will open its first small modular reactor in less than four years, while China's Changchiang ACP-100 on the island of Hainan began operations last December. India, with its experience of designing, building and operating 220 megawatt reactors, could be a market leader, assuming technology, market demand and other issues are resolved. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like, follow and share.